Oh, hello. Uh, I don't know if you're free, but there's this, this show happening I'm putting on if maybe you'd like to come. No? March 26th. Today's decay. That's the show. This isn't really the show because this is happening December 16th, 1980. So forget it. Maybe you can't make it to that event, but you could make it to this. Today's decay. March 26th edition. Where we celebrate births and beginnings of everything important since the dawn of time. Uh, March 26th, on this day, 1917, Rufus Thomas was born. Uh, Rhythm and Blues sensation. Memphis, Tennessee. Sun Records recording artist. I love Rufus Thomas. Uh, also on this day, 1956, Shannon Wilhelm was born. That's why we've got this castration squad flyer out and about because uh, Shannon was the co-singer of Castration Squad, who were a supergroup uh, in Los Angeles in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, Alice Bagg was in Castration Squad, as was uh, Dinah Cancer, AKA Mary Beth Thing. Uh, I mean, the, the whole band is like star-studded. And um, I feel like plenty of people, Bill, um, the Screamers as like the most exciting West Coast punk band to have never properly recorded or, or maybe Crime also fits into that category, right? Um, but I would say it, truly the crime is that Castration Squad never got their due. Um, there's some television appearances that are really terrific and there's a couple of like live recordings, I think, from that session that made it onto like an Alice Bag 45, I think, called Violence Girl, maybe? It's like the name of the 45. But they're really low quality, so like if you were to try to DJ it at an event, because, you know, maybe events will happen again sometime in the future, uh, I wouldn't advise it, because it's pretty low, lo-fi. But the songs and what they're doing and everything is really inspirational and exciting, and, uh, and an alternate reality, Maybe they had been set to tape at some point and we could really listen to them. And it could live on forever instead of just being in people's minds and read about in the, the book. Like the book called Phantoms, which they, they talk about them in there, which if you haven't checked out, I would suggest it's enormous and pretty cheap and exhaustive in its um, exploration of the Los Angeles death rock goth world. What else? 1965, on this day, Stuart Osborne was born the guitar player of the Guanabats. Love the Guanabats, love Stuart Osborne. If you can't get enough Stuart Osborne, you can always go to YouTube and check out Psychobilia Cancer and Rock and Roll, a documentary I made many years ago, which features him prominently among, amongst a bunch of others. So there you go. All day, today, it's music. Definitely surround yourself with music. If you can't surround yourself with friends, surround yourself with music. Till tomorrow, goodbye.